It's another good morning here at WBLZ 420. I'm Cassie Kresser. And I'm Nina Nasherdine here with your morning news. We have the top stories for you as always. And what's the topic today, Nina? The legalization of marijuana. Marijuana is the third most popular recreational drug in the United States, being used by nearly 100 million Americans. So far, we've only had two out of the 50 states to fully legalize the popular plant, Oregon and just recently Colorado. But it looks like the remainder of the states are turning a new leaf. Support for legalizing marijuana has surged nearly 20 points in less than a decade, and 11 points in the last three years alone, now constituting a narrow majority of Americans. According to government surveys, about 25 million Americans have smoked marijuana in the past year, and more than 14 million do so regularly despite the laws against its use. But it's not all just for personal interest. There's a medical aspect to it as well. Yes, so far, 22 out of the 50 states, as well as Washington, D.C., have legalized marijuana for the medical use. Proponents of mar medical marijuana argue that it can be safe and effective treatment for symptoms of cancer, AIDS, pain, and other conditions. It can also have a huge economic benefit to it as well. The states that have currently legalized the medical use of marijuana are already starting to see the money coming in. In January alone, Colorado pulled in $2 million in tax related to the sale of recreational marijuana. Combined with taxes on sales from medicinal marijuana, the state pulled in nearly $3.5 3.5 million in pot-related tax revenue. If that trend continues, the state will see more than $40 million in additional tax dollars in 2014, meaning more jobs, more money, and less debt. And how do we vote on this matter? Well, voting still has its restrictions. If you're under 18 and still want to get your opinion out, just log on to the link below. You can also log on to pollingreport.com slash drugs to see how others are voting around you. Remember, every vote counts. Thanks so much for the information, Nina. I'm going to make sure I go home and vote. Well, it's been another great morning here at WBLZ 420. Thanks for tuning in on us again. We'll be back with Drew and our special guest farmer, Kevin, shortly after the break. Greg Potter says there will be change, but are his changes really for the better? In a speech by Greg Potter, he said marijuana is an abomination to our society and should be eradicated as soon as possible. In that same speech, he also said, I really hate babies, all of them. Now, do you want a man in office who hates marijuana and babies? I'm Manny Jane, and I approve this message. Thank you, Cassie. I'm here in Colorado with this local farmer who started his own business with the large-scale cultivation of marijuana. So tell us, what are your expectations for the future of your business? Well, needless to say, expectations are pretty high. What's your opinion of the legalization of marijuana in other states? Well. In Colorado, our business is doing great. If more states were to legalize it, we would have more product to ship to other states and spread the happiness. That's good. So how do you feel this has impacted you and the other residents of Colorado? Well, with the legalization of marijuana, I, I can safely say that there will be more green in people's wallets. That's fantastic. What are you planning on spending your money on? Well, after I buy some more land, I'm looking to get one of them big fancy yachts and fill them up with women. Oh, sorry, you dropped your microphone. That's okay, that's okay. Well, it looks like you have some big plans for your future. Now, a word from our sponsors, who just so happens to be sitting right next to me. Really? Yeah. Where? It's you. Thanks for all that money. Say, do you want to feel happy like me? Do you want your job to be fun and make other people happy too? Do you want to be rich? Well, boy, do I have the job for you. If you live in Colorado, you can work on the first marijuana farm, where we grow gobs and gobs of weed and sell gobs and gobs of weed. Since weed is now legal in Colorado, sales are at an all-time high. <laughs> Get it? High? <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Farmer Kmart, why should I work on your farm? Because, well, it's good for the economy. With all that marijuana money out from under the table, the government can use the money to get out of debt. Oh, and we also offer a very generous employee discount on our product. So what are you waiting for? Send in your applications today. Space is limited. And now from our very own news station, we have proof that one in every two government officials smokes pot. Please join me in welcoming our anonymous guest, Bob Roberts. Hey, you guys are going to blur out my face, right? Yeah, never mind. All right, thanks. Hi, I'm Bob Roberts. Hello. Now, how did you find out about this factoid? Well, I actually used to work in government myself. You would not believe how many people smoke marijuana. Yeah, I, I really wouldn't. 
Well, you should, because I actually used to do it myself. There was a whole group of us that would go out and do it together. Really? So you're saying that you and your colleagues would go out and smoke marijuana? That's exactly what I said. Now, uh, where is it exactly that you work in government? Well, um, I was the co-assistant to the assistant to the executive sanitation engineer at the White House. Oh, Mike. Well, thank you for that informative interview. It was both informative and an interview. You're welcome.